So I'm going to start here with the end result. What I wanted to achieve was AIS targets on this C80 Raymarine display. And unfortunately the sun is right behind me so it's probably quite difficult to see. But hopefully you can see these flashing targets now uh, on the display. I'll just try and cover that up as much as I possibly can. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work backwards on this one because this has taken quite a bit of time to get working right. Okay. So if I just open this up a little bit, you can see that there is a port here on the back, which is for NMEA and AIS. So we'll come back to that in a second, but essentially there's a cable plugged into there. A temporary bit of wiring here going along the boat. As you can see, Chris is just sorting out some food and things. And then it comes inside and it's going to this serial USB converter. And then that is plugged into the back of the Raspberry Pi. Ignore this, this is just, I was just trying to test some GPS stuff as well and actually do need some more um, USB ports, but basically it's a USB hub. Um, just gotta uh, check in some voltage and um, the converter here at the top is just plugged straight into the back of there. Okay, so let's take a look at the settings and what you need to do to get this set up. As I say, it took a little bit of time, but um, it's not complicated actually when you get your head around it. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the serial settings. So look for the serial app in Open Plotter. So don't be concerned here by the red device. That's simply not plugged in at the moment. So here you can see I've got the hub and my serial to USB converter. And I've given that device an alias, which is NMEA out. I've also told it the data type. So then you're going to want to press the connections tab and you're going to want to add this to signal K. So press the add to signal K button. I've already done that. So it's already set up and you can see here it set up the signal K connection with the ID and the data type that we just selected. Signal K will reboot at this point, but once it's come back, make sure you're logged in and then you'll get the extra menu. Click on server and then data connections. Here you can see it's added that data connection. It's important to remember that serial connections are bi-directional, which means that data can flow in and out of the same serial device. Just make sure that the serial port is correct and that the serial speed is also correct. So just take note of this field here. This is how we're going to get data out of signal K and back down that serial connection. The reason that that's important is because you need to understand how the data by default gets to your MFD or your display unit. So if you look on the back of my C80 here, on the left we've got power, in the middle we've got radar, and the CTORC connection at the top is what actually brings all of the boat data, so its depth, its speed, its wind information, GPS, all of that sort of stuff, that's how this device knows what's going on and can display that data on the screen. If we were to send that data down the NME port, what we've got connected here at the same time, you start to get a data loop and that's what you've got to be really careful about. The good news with this example, with using uh, the port for the AIS, is that we're only going to send the AIS data down that port, nothing else. And now I'm going to show you how we filter that out. So you're going to need a plugin called NMEA to NMEA. If you don't have this already, head over to the App Store and download that plugin. Once you've got the plugin, as it says here, it's going to forward and filter certain NMEA outputs. Open this up. And for the input, you're going to select all of the NMEA. These are all the NMEA events that Signal K can see. It pre-populates the output with its own tag. And you're going to copy that and put that into the data connection part in a second. Select the sentences that you want to see. So for me, this is AIS. But as you can see here, if you wanted to output something else to a device, you could also use this same technique in doing that. They're the two AIS payloads that we need to send out. Click Submit, head back to Data Connections, select the serial, and the output event is what we've just filtered. Paste that into here and hit Apply. If you head back to the dashboard, you can see here that we are receiving some uh, AIS information. AIS activity is just bouncing a little bit. We're not going to see anything on the NMEA out because we're not receiving anything here, we're transmitting the data out. Again, don't worry about the GPS, that's just an error for something else. So this next section is specifically for the C80 and how to display AIS on that device. So you're going to need to go to presentation and then you're going to need to go to chart layers. Here you can turn the AIS layer on and off. So if you want to display AIS targets, make sure that's set to on. 
and then there's a really good troubleshooting section so if you go to setup and you scroll down to system diagnostics external interfaces and NMEA 0183 and here you can see the sentences that are being received on that port that's useful for any sort of troubleshooting just make sure that the two devices are actually talking to each other also you may need to set the speed so if you go into system setup and system integrations here you can change the NMEA port function and for me I've got it to AIS and the speed is 38400. There's some really good resources online and I'll include some links in the description. So here you can see the way that SignalK handles the different data streams that come in. Obviously a lot of it gets converted to SignalK data but you can export it back out in different formats. I hear there's some changes coming with version uh, 3 so that'll be interesting to see what else happens but uh, as I say these couple of websites are really helpful and uh, helped me to work out what was going wrong because at one point I was getting a data loop. So just to finish off the video, I did use the recommended USB to serial converter, which is a model by DTEC, and I'll include a link to that in the description, and it'll also be available um, via our Amazon link uh, site from our main website, boatingwiththebaileys.com. Hope that's helpful, and we'll see you again.